This video is brought to you by Hitch and Timber, a family-owned leather business run by Michael, his wife Kaylin, and a small team. They specialize in leather wallets and EDC organizers like the Card Caddy and the Trucker's Hitch. Everything is handmade from quality materials and sourced from the U.S. To learn more about or purchase a Hitch and Timber wallet yourself, click the link at the top of the description box below. Hey guys, welcome back. I am Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time to talk organizers. I get a lot of questions about organizers like the Hitch and Timber Does All or the Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Organizer, especially since I've covered both of these, but there are tons of different EDC organizers, and the questions range from will my knife fit in X organizer, or why should I carry this? Isn't it bulky? Isn't this big? Is it heavy? Isn't that overkill? So on and so forth. The questions never end, but the advantages are there, and there are also some disadvantages. So here are seven reasons why you should consider carrying an EDC organizer, and three why maybe you shouldn't. For starters, I just want to say EDC organizers are not going to be for everyone. All of these points are not going to be a blanket advantage for everyone. This is not going to apply to everyone. Everybody, especially in this EDC world, has different tastes and that's perfectly okay. That's what makes EDC so interesting. Everybody likes to carry their stuff differently. That's why my show, the EDC Weekly, is so interesting. People carry stuff in different ways. Everybody has different tastes and that's perfectly fine. I do think that organizers have a very valid place in this world. I personally carry one. In fact, I carry two organizers every single day. That's not even tossing one in a bag. I carry two on my person every day. And now probably three because this just came in the mail literally minutes before I started recording this video. That's the Bit Vault from Lever Gear. I did a feature on this a few weeks ago. I went to Lever Gear. I highly recommend you checking that out if you haven't seen it. This is a pretty cool little thing. But anyway, reason number one why you should consider carrying an EDC organizer is because it keeps all of your gear in one neat little package, or at least most of your gear in a neat package. One that I carried personally for a long time was the Hitch and Timber Card Caddy. And this was most of my EDC. I would say that this was 80% of my EDC I had. In addition to this, my keys, I had my phone and I had my watch. This organizer in particular is designed specifically for a Fisher Spaceman Bullet, the Victorinox Cadet, and a couple of cards. But you could also use something like the Arc Company Rambler, which can hold a multitude of different items. It's not made for anything in particular, and you can hold several different items in this. The one that I carry now every single day is the Hitch and Timber Proper Slip. I rotate what knife I carry in it, but this is made for any sort of Swiss Army knife or traditional knife in the realm of the Benchmade Proper size. And it's just a really neat way to carry your stuff. It puts it in one neat little package. And I think it's just a really classy way to carry this sort of stuff. But there are also EDC organizers that you would want to toss down in a bag, something a little larger like the Pocket Pro from Yellow Birch Outfitters. It's just great for tossing down in a bag because it holds a bunch of different stuff and you've got a zipper pocket on the back. So you can just toss this down in the bag and it keeps all of those essentials that you need frequently in one spot inside your bag. Reason number two that you should consider an EDC organizer is if you've got something like this in your pocket, a Victorinox Swiss Army Knife, which does not have pocket clip, you're gonna be carrying this in your pocket, just loose, free-floating in your pocket, and it's gonna, you're gonna slide it down into your pocket, and then about 30 seconds later, it's gonna be sitting like that, and that is extremely annoying to me. Maybe not to you, maybe you can deal with a Swiss Army Knife laying sideways in your pocket, I can't. So 30 seconds after I put it in my pocket, I'm reaching down and repositioning so it's vertical again, and about 30 seconds later, it falls over again. So when you carry a Swiss Army Knife in something like the proper slip from Hitch and Timber, it keeps this upright. The leather has a lot more friction on it than the Alox, or in the case of this one, the titanium scales, or even the plastic ones. Unless I got a clip added to a Swiss Army Knife, I wouldn't carry one without some sort of organizer. Just a fact of life now. And regarding the Fisher Spaceman Bullet, I love the pin, but it is annoying to carry without some sort of organizer. Because while they do sell a pocket clip for the Fisher Space Pin Bullet, you drop it in your pocket, just like a, a Swiss Army Knife, it falls sideways, and I hate that. But also, I've lost Fisher Space Pin Bullets. A lot of people has, have lost their Fisher Space Pin Bullets, because even with a the clip, these things they manage to just get away from you. They just disappear from your pocket, nice as they may be, 
they are like little Houdinis. They just disappear. And if you carry one in an organizer, it's not going anywhere. You would lose the whole wallet before you lost just the Fisher Space Pin Bullet, and it just makes gear easier to carry. Another perfect example, I love this pry bar from, from Brassworks, but I don't know how to carry it. I, I had it clipped to my keychain for a while, um, but just dropping it down into an organizer makes a ton of sense. Reason number three is it's gonna reduce your pocket clutter. So in the case of, let's say, the does all, which is gonna hold your pin, your flashlight, your knife, and a notepad, those are four things rather than having them spread throughout your pockets, this is gonna put them all in one location. So you are not gonna have a pen in your left pocket, a flashlight in your right pocket, a knife in your back pocket, and a notepad in the other back pocket. You're not gonna have your stuff spread all around. It's gonna be in one neat place, but that frees up your other pockets. I hate having all of my pockets full. I don't mind if one of my pockets is loaded down, but I hate having multiple things in all of my pockets. I just do, I hate it so, so much. And I know a lot of you out there do as well. I know a lot of you don't like anything in your pockets, which I totally understand. When you use something like an organizer, be it the does all or the pocket organizer from Yellow Birch, you can use that to clean out all your other pockets and put all your gear in one location. It's just nice to free up all those other pockets. Going a little bit deeper on that, reason number four is some organizers will clean out your pockets entirely. The one that I carry and the reason that my pockets are as empty as they are now is the Tale of Knives XL Plus flashlight. This is a belt loop organizer. I did a video on it recently. This straps to your hip and it gets some of those bigger, bulkier items out of your pockets. So in my case, the Paramilitary 2, this is a big, heavy knife, and I've made it heavier than it normally is because I put copper scales on it. And I mentioned in the Tale of Knives video that this pocket clip just isn't strong enough to hold the knife with the copper scales in my pocket like it should. I need to replace this clip with something a little better. I've bent this one back. I've tried to increase the tension. I just can't make it any better than it currently is, and it kept falling out of my pocket. So I needed a better solution. Now it's strapped to my hip. So I don't have this big, heavy, bulky knife in my pocket, but I can still carry it on me in a way that's much more convenient. And the same goes for the flashlight. The Olight S2R2 baton is the one that I've been carrying really since it came out. It's a nice size flashlight. I could carry this in my pocket. I did for a while before this arrived, but it was kind of annoying. I could never forget the fact that this was in my pocket because this takes up a lot of space. It's thick, it's long, it's just a big flashlight for something I would normally carry for everyday carry. Before that, what my typical EDC flashlight was, was the Rovi Von Aurora, a very, very small flashlight. When I moved up to this, it was kind of hard to deal with. I couldn't cope with the size of this. And this organizer just pulls that gear out of my pocket and puts it on my hip. And you know what that does for me? I could never forget that this is in my back pocket. I could never forget that this flashlight is in my front pocket, but I can forget when they're on my hip. The weight of them and the bulk of them just doesn't matter nearly as much when this stuff is strapped to my hip. Moving on to reason number five, this one is not for me and it's not gonna be for a lot of you, but it is something that I know a lot of people out there care for, and that is keeping your gear in pristine condition. There are people out there who like to flip knives, who like to use uh, r slash knife swap and buy a new knife, a nice expensive knife, test it out for a little bit and then send it on to the next owner. That is a very common thing in the EDC world. And because of that, something like this is a very logical thing to use. Let's say this weren't a bench made proper and it were a Chris Reeves Sabenzo. If you wanted to have that knife for a little while and then sell it to someone else, you wouldn't want to just free float it in your pocket or something you would want to protect that knife, slip it down into an organizer. It is almost entirely covered and it's going to stay in nice condition. A slip or an organizer is going to be one of your best options. Another thing, when I get up in the morning, since I've got a lot of different EDC gear, I can sometimes spend too much time going through it, trying to decide what I want to carry that day. And that's, that's a huge first world problem, I know. But if you carry something like an EDC organizer, it's easier to just grab this in the morning and go. I don't have to, you know, put my knife in my pocket, put a flashlight in this pocket, put a pin over here. I don't have to spend time doing that. I literally, when I carry one of these, grab it, throw it in my pocket and I'm out. You know, it's two seconds versus like fumbling through all this gear. That's what these things are absolutely great for. You can just grab it and go. And that kind of goes back to what I was saying about the Yellow Birch Outfitters. When you carry this in your backpack, you can reach down into that backpack, 
pull this full thing out and you know that you've got what you're looking for rather than fumbling through the 1500 pockets. One of the backpacks that I carry very, very frequently is the Meta Threads Level 3 backpack. I love that backpack, but I have lost so much stuff inside that backpack because there are so many pockets. So what I do is I put those things that I want frequently, cords, cables, connectors, like this little adapter for my computer, I throw that into the back of this organizer. I toss this thing down into my bag. I know where it is in the bag. I grab this and I know that when I reach in there and pull this out that I've got what I'm looking for. And furthering that point, reason number seven is when you're traveling, one of these things is absolutely great. I went to Portland earlier this year for a Buick press trip and I took this with me. I left my knives at home, unfortunately, but I had my screwdriver pen and I had a few other things inside this as well as this little notebook. Inside this, I had a shot list for one of the videos I was making. I went through this. I knew that throughout that trip, if I had this on me, which I carried in my back pocket most of that time, I even had a little variable ND filter in the back here for my camera. I knew that wherever I went during that trip, if I had this in my pocket, that I was gonna have most of the stuff that I needed regardless of the situation while making the video. And that's what these things are really, really good for. Whether it's something like this Yellow Birch Outfitters, a card caddy, or a Maxpedition EDC pocket organizer, if you've got something like that, and whether you're traveling across the country or going on like a day trip to the beach and back or the mountains, whatever your trip is, if you've got something like that, you throw your essentials in it and you know that when you get to where you're going, grab that and you've got everything you need. Whether it's a little first aid kit inside there, whether it's a screwdriver for removing the quick plate from my camera because I can't do it with a coin, whatever it may be, you know that if you've grabbed this, you've got your essentials. Or even in the case of something like this, the Bit Vault, I know now that when I go to Alex's mom's house without planning it first, I know that I've got my Zyrtec in there because if I don't have my Zyrtec, I can't function as a human being. So I've thrown some Zyrtec in here. I've got toothpicks in here. I've got just essentials for my everyday. I've got four ibuprofen just in case stowed away in this. And I've got just bits and different things. So I know that I've, if I've got this, if I stop by somebody's house, I know that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay if they've got a cat. So those are some of the reasons that you should carry an EDC organizer, but there are also some reasons why you shouldn't. One of those reasons, especially when it comes to something bigger like the Yellow Birch Pocket Pro, this concentrates all that weight. So while it pulls all this stuff out of your other pockets and frees up those pockets, it's gonna concentrate all that weight into one location. So your weight distribution of all your gear, while all of your stuff might be lightweight, when you place all of that in one spot, in one pocket, it can feel a lot heavier, even when you use all tight, all of this stuff is titanium in here. 100% of the stuff in this organizer right now is titanium and it's not lightweight, it's kind of heavy. The other problem is bulk. If you do have stuff that's thicker, like the Pioneer X or the i3T EOS, and you're carrying an organizer like the Does All, this thing is bulky. I don't want this in my back pocket at all times. I carried this for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I really did not mind carrying this, but anytime I sat down, I had to take this out of my back pocket. And everywhere I went, I was constantly taking this out of my pocket, which I don't always wanna do when I've got my knife and a few other things and valuables like cards. I carried this as a wallet. This was pretty much my entire EDC. And I didn't like that. I didn't like pulling out like all of my valuables and sitting them out on the table. This bulk made me not wanna sit down with this in my pocket and it's too big and bulky for my front pocket. So there weren't many options. And Michael did explain to me that the does all is meant more for a bag than your pocket, but there are plenty of people out there who carry something as big as a does all. I know plenty of people in real life whose wallets are bigger than this. But for me, this is too bulky to carry every single day. But the third and final reason why maybe you wouldn't want to carry an EDC organizer, especially like this, if you had this in your pocket and you pull it out of your pocket every single time you sit down, you might leave this on the table. And if you leave this on the table, that's a whole lot worse than just leaving a wallet because you can recover a wallet, you can you know, cancel all the cards or you lose your cards and a little bit of cash. But if you lose this, you're losing a pen, you're losing a flashlight, you're losing a knife and the total value lost could be far more than a wallet. You're losing all of your gear in one fell swoop. Even if it's something like this that you carry in your backpack, if you pull this out of your backpack, you're using some things and then you walk away and leave it. 
which I did when I was in Portland and remembered to go back for it. Thankfully, it would have been a couple of hundred dollar loss for me because I had a, a filter in the back for my camera. I had the bit bar, I had the TI Arto pen, and this is the Rovi Von Aurora flashlight. I think this was exactly what I carried when I was in Portland. This would have been a pretty big loss. So when you're carrying an organizer, if you lose it, you're kind of losing everything all at once. And that's, that's unfortunate. So there you go, there you have it. Those are the reasons why you should and should not carry an EDC organizer. If you've got any other reasons that I missed or it's a reason you carry an organizer or a reason you don't carry an EDC organizer and I missed it, let me know about it in the comments down below. That said, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up button below, subscribe to see more videos like this and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do upload new videos. If you liked any of the gear and wanna check out some of the organizers that I have, everything mentioned in this video and stuff that I didn't even mention in the video but I have on the table, I will link down below in the description. If you click through and purchase those things that help support the channel. And if you wanna help support the channel in another way, you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestdamnedc. Once again, thank you Hitch and Timber for making this video possible. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestdamnedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.